high above the skies, the latest in American space technology is flying and doing something. We don't know the specifics, but we do know that the U.S. Air Force has created something incredibly special and strangely mysterious. When you hear about a secret military mission, you might be a little suspicious. There are numerous instances in the past when the military has kept things from citizens and has performed unsavory missions through a veil of secrecy. But sometimes these secret missions are harmless and actually good for the future of mankind. However, the mystery surrounding them always makes people raise an eyebrow and wonder what it is. That's what's currently happening with the unmanned X-37B spaceplane. It's undertaken multiple clandestine missions carrying secret payloads high above our heads. The American government swears it's not doing anything nefarious or illegal. Yet why is this program run by the U.S. Space Force? And why is there so much secrecy surrounding the program? As you can tell, questions and mysteries abound. Let's dig in to this brand new piece of space tech. No matter what it's doing, we want to learn everything we can. When you look at the X-37B, you see something that looks like a tiny little version of the space shuttle. The robotic vehicle is far smaller than the shuttle and many of the other space tech creations that have been garnering such buzz lately, like SpaceX's Starship. Instead, the X-37B measures just 29 feet long, 9.5 feet tall, with a wingspan of about 15 feet. That's basically the size of a moving van. That means the X-37B most likely isn't carrying astronauts or much of a payload. It's enough to carry something, we just don't know what. The ship is said to launch vertically, helped by the assistance of a rocket. It's also said to cruise back down to the Earth's surface and land on a runway much like an airplane or the fabled space shuttle of the past. So far, the plane has only launched from space centers in Florida, both the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station and NASA's Kennedy Space Center. However, when the flights have concluded, the ship has landed on both sides of the United States. The first three flights have landed at the Vandenberg Air Force Base in Central California. The other two flights have ended up back in Florida at the Kennedy Space Center. As expected, the Space Force hasn't said why it selected multiple landing spots for the X-37B. One of the coolest, more advanced features of the space plane is that it's powered solely by the sun. Like many U.S. satellites, the X-37B generates its electrical power from sunlight. A set of solar cells are built into the plane, and they deploy from inside the ship once it reaches orbit. These cells soak up the sun and then convert that into power that helps the ship float through space and perform its tasks. The space plane is completely unmanned, which is not surprising since there isn't an abundance of space in the ship to move around, let alone maneuver and do experiments. That means that the ship is a lot like a drone. It flies on its own, it takes care of itself, and it attends to its mission without the oversight of a crew on board. It's good that the ship doesn't have any humans on board because the missions are incredibly long. The Space Force says that the ship's designed to spend 270 days or greater in orbit at a time. The multiple missions undertaken have grown progressively longer and longer. The first ride, named OTV-1, lasted just 225 days. Following that, OTV-2 and 3 ran for 469 and 674 days respectively. Things only got longer and longer as time went on, with each mission beating the last by leaps and bounds. Obviously, the Space Force is testing the abilities of the X-37B and seeing just how far and long it can go. It's no surprise that the ship is completely free of astronauts. So why does this ship have to spend so much time up in the air? As mentioned, the Space Force isn't saying much. However, it was revealed what the ship's primary objectives are. 
According to the Space Force, the X-37B is meant to study and advance reusable spacecraft technologies and also operate experiments that can be, quote, returned to and examined on Earth. The Space Force is obviously keeping quiet on the specifics, but their silence doesn't necessarily mean cause for alarm. It wouldn't be the first time they held things close to the vest, even when nothing shocking was going on. The roots of the X-37 program actually go back to NASA. The program started back in 1999, when NASA planned to create two vehicles, an approach and landing test vehicle and an orbital vehicle. NASA was still hard at work on the project in 2004 when it transferred it over to the U.S. military. That's when X-37 became a classified project, and any new information about it has been kept under lock and key. But the military keeps many of its projects top secret even when they're completely tame and unexciting. It's just how they often do things. However, anytime the military gets involved, especially with anything that flies, people start to assume the very worst. That means that there are many out there who think the X-37B vehicle is some sort of advanced space weapon that's created to challenge other nations or protect America from foreign enemies. But there are a few arguments that poke holes in those assumptions. Most notably, the size of the X-37B doesn't really lend itself to this idea. It's far too small and not maneuverable for the sort of work needed for a space weapon. Any sort of space vehicle that would have the capability to create any sort of space-borne destruction would likely be a lot larger than a moving van. So while it's possible they're working on something dangerous, it's likely not the case. In all reality, the top secret space plane is probably working on sensors and equipment for future spy satellites. If so, you can understand why the American military is staying mum about the space plane. They don't need China, Russia, and other countries learning the specifics of the X-37B, especially if it will eventually facilitate spying on them. Perhaps the coolest thing about the X-37B is that you can see it from the ground. The military obviously doesn't disclose the location of the ship at any given time, but many amateur astronomers have spotted the vehicle from their own backyards. Certain website trackers that specialize in satellites have revealed where the ship is at, and that has led to some people spotting the plane as it traverses the heavens above the Earth. Of course, from this distance, you can't see it very well. It appears like a tiny little bright dot in the middle of the night sky. But the fact that you can see the X-37B as it floats along on its top secret mission confirms that it's still in use. The X-37B probably isn't holding any weapons of mass destruction. In reality, it's likely working on some brand new satellite technology that may or may not help create a brand new fleet of spy devices that will keep tabs on America's adversaries. However, it's still an incredible piece of modern space tech. Its novel size, power production, and top secret nature have turned the X-37B into something of a legend. Who knows what the future holds for this tiny little space plane? One thing is for sure, whatever success the vehicle has, we won't hear about it.